Hey, hello, what is going on, everybody? Super excited right now. Just so excited to react to the Joker's final trailer. That's right, with Joaquin Phoenix and Robert De Niro. That's really cool. That's really cool. It's just two of my favorite actors in one movie trailer. I can't wait for the trailer. I have, um, I just, I think, I think Joaquin is... One of the most talented actors um, ever. And I'm really excited to see him in this. And I just, I can't even wait. I'm not even going, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to wait for this. We're just going to watch it. Stop bothering my kid. Sorry. Arthur, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> this is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. And finally, in a world where everyone thinks they can do my job, check out this guy. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. Isn't it? For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed. But I do. And people are starting to notice. You think this is funny? <laughs> is this a joke to you? <laughs> Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Send in the clouds. Wow, guys. What do you think of that? That was pretty epic. That was that was definitely totally totally epic. I just I want to keep watching this over and over and over again. I don't know about you guys, but I just uh, I'm just going to I'm going to lower the sound of the video and we are just going to watch it again together and go through it cut by cut because this was just epic so you see a new york city skyline and he's in a bus this bus i don't remember in my lifetime any buses looking like this so this must be the, the 70s or the 80s because i don't know i mean he's dressed kind of 70s but the interaction with the kid let's just let's just start right there guys what do you what do you think i mean if if you were if you, if your child was on a bus with him, would you would you be would you be freaked out if some some man was was going like this to your kid? Because sometimes, to be honest, I do that. If I see a kid, I try to play peekaboo, and now I'm thinking maybe that is a little creepy because that mom got definitely that mom definitely was just not having it. But we see his character, and it, he's just this beaten down man. He's he's always getting he's always getting beaten down. And it's really sad. It's really sad. Hold on. I'm getting, I think, a, a call. Hold on. H hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Yes? Yeah, hi there. Am I speaking with uh, Miss Lauren Francis? Yeah? Well, uh, Miss Lauren, my name is Chase, and I'm calling you from National Green. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm at work right now. 
No, it's okay. I'm not really interested. Thank you so much. Miss Lauren, it's not a sales call, you know? What? It's not a sales call. Uh, the reason of call is that we are providing you no cost, free of cost, solar. Wow. So right now it's just... So for free, I'll get, I'll get solar on my roof? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, it's a state funded. It's a national company, National Green. Wow. It's a state funded program. You don't... You don't need to pay one penny because it's a PPA program. Really? For qualification for do do I have to pay? Do I pay later? Are you going to charge me later for the solar or just never? I never would pay anything. Uh, uh, after installing solar, you will start getting a reduced electric bill up to 70%. So then would I pay you guys anything or you guys just do it all for free? Because I have no money. I'm poor. No, not even pay. one penny? Not even one? You'll do it totally for free? Yeah, man, totally for free. Wow. Company will, install, maintain, company will install, maintain, and monitor the panels for you at no cost. Then it's why do you guys do it? it? Why do you do it? Yeah, man, uh, you know the reason, of co uh, the reason uh, why we are offering you free is uh, the solar panels will generate the more amount of electricity than your requirements. God, great. Well, I, I can't actually, I have to get off the phone right now because I'm at work, but call me back. That sounds very cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Bye. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm sorry about that. I just got majorly distracted by solar panels. Um, isn't it funny how, how telemarketers, they, they call you and it's the first three, the same three numbers and they just called like seven times. So I, I kind of just I, I just went on the fly and, and answered this. I don't I don't know. Let's get back to the Joker right now. Leave a comment below if you also get calls like this often because I get calls like this all the time. I heard once, and then I'm just going a little tangent that it is a form of 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 um. Yeah, I'm not even going to talk about it. We'll talk about it personally. DM me. Get inside my DMs, and we will have a conversation about telemarketers. But let me know if you also get telemarketed. And, guys, do you think that's true? Do you think they do the solar panels for free? I don't know. It just sounds when, – when things sound too good to be true – they normally are. That's just that's just life. But anyway, let's let's continue watching Joaquin, the most amazing actor ever, and he has such gorgeous eyes. Even though he is a creepy Joker guy, and his mom is not happy. She's just thinking this crazy guy. All right, this apartment building right here. My friend, who's a casting director, actually lives here. I won't say his name, but I've been up the steps of this building, and it does. Like, okay, so I'm looking at these cars. These cars are definitely '70s looking cars. Definitely, they look like they're from the '70s. Let me know in the comments below if that's true. And we're going through it. We're going through life right now, and we see him. He has scars all over his back. We don't know if that's from something that happened before. That is a very interesting picture right there that they're, they're passing. That must symbolize something. I feel like the director of this really symbolized everything. But look at the authentic dirt on the, on the, on the, the shelving. That's very authentic. And his outfit. That is definitely a 70s outfit. I remember uh, looking at pictures of my dad looking like that with his long hair. And I just thought, why did you dress like that? And he's like, it's the 70s. Yeah, it looks definitely very 70s. And he's laughing. It could be the 80s, too. It could be the 80s. I don't know. And, and now we see him with, is this a social services worker? And, he just, and he's just sad. And, and, and he says that line here, that, 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 that line. It's just a very sad. You can tell he's, a very, he, he's playing this really troubled character. And that's something that I love about being an actor is that you get to, to lose yourself. Like, he really gets to lose himself in characters. And you think about characters like, like that that played the the Joker before uh and it's 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 really it's just it's just really interesting we think about we think about Heath Ledger who is just an, a very iconic Joker um because it just definitely people say it really changed him because a lot of actors are method actors and when you're a method actor you really live some of these situations you ima your imagination is so strong that you get into these characters so hard and it's actually really hard when you're playing a character who's going through these intense emotions i did a i did a movie um 
a while back. Um, it's out on my IMDb if you want to check it out. Uh, where I got killed in it called Muck. And it was very, I know it was a horror movie. It was just very, you had to, those, those two weeks that we filmed the movie, I just, it was very, it was very, it was kind of traumatic because I had to be in this state of, I'm fighting for my life throughout the whole movie. That was, that was morning, you know, you're fighting for your life and it's very draining. So a lot of people don't give actors the credit that they, that they deserve, I feel. And you don't realize that, that it's not just all fun. Everyone looks at actors and you're like, oh, it's glitzy and glamorous, but it's hard. I mean, I can guarantee Joaquin Phoenix still does probably have to audition for some roles. Um, and then he has to kill himself through the movie and just be this really tortured soul which he's not i hear he's a really nice guy he's my friend's neighbor actually um but look at that and that must i he probably had a stunt guy for that but look at the emotion there look at the emotion there there's a lot of stuff behind those eyes and we see him smoking in this uh family friendly but uh just definitely symbolizing his character you know he's just struggle this this uh struggling character and there's robert de niro Robert De Niro comes in and he's giving him this, you think he's going to give him a compliment, but he's just kind of weighing down on the Joker. And it's just this other side that we see to the Joker that we haven't seen in the other DC movies. I know this is based on a, a, a DC story, but we get to see why the Joker uh, came to be who he is because a lot of times bad people aren't truly bad. There's no person that's like truly evil. There's things that happened to them or how they were brought up that made them uh, be the way that they are. So it's definitely, it's definitely just a really, it's just an interesting story. It's so interesting. And what I really love is the fact that he was a stand up comic. He was a comedian. I've done stand up comedy before. It is hard. Uh, you don't think it's hard. I mean, I, the, the fact that you're standing up in front of a bunch of people and you're just talking to, to people is terrifying. Just the thought of it, like I stopped breathing, which is a problem I have. I have to breathe. I have to breathe. Like just the thought of it made me stop, hold my breath because it's hard. And the first time, first time I did stand up, it was really bad. Uh, second time I did st stand up, it was probably bad. I did it. I, I hosted a show for a while and I've been heckled. It's hard. So for him to do it for a living, like I never did stand up for a living. I did it for fun and I hung out with friends who did it and I went out and just it did it on the side. But for, for somebody to do it every day of their lives and get heckled, I have no idea how, how stand ups how, how stand ups do it. It's, it's, it's a very sad profession. You always hear these really tragic stories uh, about comedians and it's just, it's just very, it's, it's, it's very, very tragic, but it's, it's pretty intense that the Joker was a comedian. I think that's just kind of epic, just kind of kind of totally epic that, that he was in that comedy world. And we're going to see he goes into a comedy club, which reminds me of, of uh, my life. I don't know who that guy is walking. And that girl, I think I went to acting with her. I have to Google her name, but she, I definitely, she looks so familiar. I think I went to acting with her. So that's great. And like a lot of comedy clubs, they had those little lights on the tables uh, if you watch Marvelous Miss Maisel, you you see that. But I think her time of comedy was way before this. But it's just it's just interesting to see the riots here and him the, a romantic thing going on. He's got he's got a love interest. He's running to see his mother. Who is that guy that's punching him in the face? I don't know. Um, but it looks really cool. He's running on the train. Everyone's wearing Joker masks. It's a very powerful thing. And now he's telling Robert De Niro. Can you introduce me as the Joker? And he just looks really cool. He's just a, he's a very cool looking, natural Joker. And I'm just so excited to see this. I, you have no idea. This is the perfect role. And seeing him do that, that makes me think he definitely did some ballet. He did ballet. Look at those arms. Look at the arm movement he's doing. He's, he's just, yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see this movie you have no idea i don't know why I, I picked up a telemarketer call in the middle of this video i just i i have no idea why that happened it just did it just did it's just it's just part of my day i'm very real when i react to stuff but looking at joaquin it's just he's such a good actor and you think about how he had to to prepare for this because all of the stuff he does He's very, re he's very method. I don't know if you saw the documentary he did where he played a rapper where people actually, he was actually going on shows because people actually thought he was, he turned into this rapper. 
So it's just really cool to see him be the Joker. And I also feel for him because a lot of times roles definitely do kind of go into our lives. So it's just interesting. I, I, I hope that uh, he's okay because I remember I remember what's happened to other other people who've played the, the Joker. But anyway, guys, who was your favorite Joker? Let me know in the comments below. Who's your favorite Joker? What do you think of Joaquin? Do you get, do telemarketers call you? Slam a like on this video if you want more videos like this one. And yeah, uh, send me suggestions for future videos in the comments below. I know we've been sticking to a lot of BTS stuff. I love BTS stuff, but I'm also a huge, huge comic book fan and uh, Marvel fan, but also DC fan. And it's really exciting that this Joker video is is out right now. And I like, I love, I love the Joker. I love it. I love, I love DC comics and I'm, I'm excited to see. I love good acting. So I'm just very excited to to see Joaquin in this and and just see where see where it goes. But anyway, guys, I love you so much. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me everywhere. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let me know should I get solar panels and are they really free? Do you think they're really free? And how are these people getting my phone number? It's so weird. I have like the most private phone number. I don't want I don't know. Maybe solar panels are good. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I love you so much and I will see you.